one in this chapter we will write our image based reflection shader and we are in our unity project so first thing we will do is where we left off last time is that we created lighting underscore basic lighting shader we will duplicate this shader and we will call it lighting IBL reflection so the reason why we are keeping this lighting so that all our lighting based shaders can be easily differentiated from all other shaders so we will click this shader and we will open it in mono develop as we have been doing first we will change the name of our shader we will call it IBL reflection the second thing that we usually do is we add the properties in the previous chapter we discussed the properties that we are going to add in our shader and the first property is whether we want to use our reflections or not we can just create a toggle button the way we created it for the ambient mode but we will do an extra step which will help us when we will create further lighting calculation shaders for this series. So what we will do is we will create a keyword enum type. The first option will be off. The second option will be whether we want to calculate the reflections or not. In the later chapters we will also understand how we will calculate the refraction reflection and refraction we will prepare our shader so that we can switch between not calculating anything calculating the reflections or calculating the refraction so first we will create our keyword enum we will take this line paste it here so the first option is off the way we want it the second option is reflection R E F L. The third option is R E F R refraction. And now we will define the name of the property or the name of the variable. It's IBL mode and the label is IBL mode. It will be a float type value because we are using it with keyword enum. And by default, we want to turn off any calculation. So our light mode by default will be off. Then we will define our factor property the way we have defined for every type of reflections we have calculated in our shader. So we will take this and we will paste it here. We will change it to reflection factor and the label will be reflection percentage it will be of range from 0 to 1 and by default the range is 1 which is full reflection the third property that we will define is a cube map because we have started using the environment map for our shaders so we will give the name underscore cube the label of the property is cube map we can also define the label as environment map and the type of the property is cube by default it is now there is no texture defined to it another property is that we discussed is the detail that what level of detail we want to see in our reflection so we will keep the label very simple reflection detail it will be of range from 1 to 9 and as we are going to use HDR images for the cube map we also want to control the exposure of the reflection on the surface so for that we will provide one more property which we will call reflection exposure the label will be HDR exposure it will be a float type value by default it will be one the second step from here is to define the pragma we will copy this property name and we will define hash pragma shader underscore feature 
we would change it to uppercase. The first option is off. Then underscore IBL mode underscore REFL for reflection. And then IBL mode for refraction. REFR. So we'll just verify that underscore IBL mode, REFL and REFR. So we have completed our second step. The third step is to define the user defined variables. So the first property that we defined was the cube map and the type of property that we defined was cube. And to read it similarly as we read the textures using sampler, we will read the 3D cube map as sampler as well. And we will define sampler cube and then the name of the property. The second is the detail. We can define it as float detail. And you can also define it as half detail.